Hello everyone, my name's Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is April 29th, 2022, and Bitcoin is on the verge of breaking out. This may be the breakout that takes us to the 100 k region six figures in bitcoin okay obviously it's not going to go in a straight line but this may be the up trend the move that eventually leads there this is what i mean all right if that excites you then watch until the very end also we're going to look at our favorite altcoins because a bitcoin breakout means an altcoin breakout is right around the corner so my first question to you all is are you still here? Are you still listening? Are you still paying attention? Are you still watching? Or do you, did you get shaken out by impatience? Did you get shaken out because you over leveraged yourself on a, a margin trade, right? And you're no longer in your trade. You're no longer in your long. Did you get shaken out or are you still here with resolve? Are you still here? Do you have a plan to take profit when the uptrend comes and the positive price action is here, right? What is your plan? Did you get shaken out or not? Right? And this is the this is the crux of it. And I want everybody who listens, watches this show to eventually be successful. And I think the way to be successful in crypto is to have resolve, have to have a plan. You have to be patient, right? You can't be caught unawares, all right? You don't have to be the best trader in the world. You don't have to be the best analyst in the world, okay? But you have to be able to tell, generally speaking, when the price is going up or the price is going down, right? Do you have to time everything perfectly exactly? No, it's very difficult, right? And this is what people want. People want to know exactly the moment, the minute, the, 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 the hour when the price is going to change, going up or down. Well, let me tell you something that's extremely challenging to do, and it's not even necessary. Just prepare for the change, okay? We know we're in a sideways market, so in a sideways market, you're not necessarily leverage trading, okay? You can do whatever you want, but it's not ideal because there's a lot of volatility to the both the upside and the downside. Sideways market, you want to wait for reversal. Maybe you can take some small leverage trades up and down and, you know, trade ranges, but you want to wait for reversal. What do we know about reversal? Reversal is something that takes time, but you can see coming because it typically, if not invariably, is preceded by a sequence of three corrective waves, okay? We're on the daily time frame, not a small time frame, not the largest time frame. But let me demonstrate what I just said to you. This is an A wave, initial break of structure. This is the first reversal wave, okay? This is a corrective wave. Three waves mean corrective wave. We all know that. Those of us that study Elliott wave. This is a B wave. This is a counter to the A wave, okay? Three waves mean reversal, okay? And now you get a, what I call a C section, okay? So a wave, so one, two, three waves. B wave, one, two, three waves. And we're not done yet. You get an A, a B, and a C. Okay, so this A, B, and the C is pretty much a mini version of what you get here. Okay, so this is the corrective pattern. This is the sequence of three corrective waves all right and so we've got them so we can expect a change all right and now that we've tracked these we know with some degree of confidence that what comes next is likely to be a reversal we can use other corroborating indices to really reinforce that thesis okay we see a descending wedge a falling wedge typically bullish okay and we can go on a smaller time frame and look at what's going on in that descending wedge or falling wedge we can also see 
on our stochastic RSI, we formed a very nice consolidative pattern right here, and we're trending up. So it's likely we're getting some positive price action. All right. So let's go into our smaller time frame and see, given that it's likely that this entire movement right here has been a reversal pattern. This may just be the last bit of our reversal pattern, right? Because once again, in this region of price action right here, we're expecting a smaller A, B, C reversal pattern, okay? And this reversal pattern, for those of you who may be looking it up or being wondering, what, what is he talking about? This is something I talk about nauseam on, our, uh, on my channel. This is something that through, throughout my career of technical analysis, I've noticed and I've uh, sort of pointed out and you can use Elliott wave theory, corrective waves to track these things. Uh, so I always talk about it. So you may not find it anywhere else, actually. Uh, not to say I'm special or anything, but I've never really heard or seen anyone else talk about this um, in this way. Okay. So once again, zooming in for our early time frame, one of our favorite time frames, you can see a reversal pattern. Three waves in A, our initial break of structure. Okay. One, two, three. And now we get an, a counter wave, which is a B wave. Looks a little different than the larger scale B wave. Okay. And these reversal patterns are, um, they're, they're not 100% in the sense that the B wave is always going to look the same. Sometimes it's, it can be composed, so it's hard to tell exactly what it's going to look like. And hence, it's hard to tell exactly when it's finished, okay? But you can approximate, and that is good enough, okay? A, one, two, three, B, this should be the breakout, okay? This should be the breakout if this pattern holds, right? Again, the pattern, the B wave can look you know, a, a number of different ways, but this is an approximation. It's likely that we get a breakout in any, in any moment now, at any moment now. Okay. And so where's the breakout going to be too? We have relatively not strong resistance, but we have significant, significant resistance at this top, uh, top uh, resistance right here for this, um, descending broadening wedge or megaphone pattern. And so I anticipate that we get a resistance at around 42.5, 42.6, okay? So that's the next move for Bitcoin and that's exactly why. If you guys are getting value from this, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, okay? And one last bit of analysis for Bitcoin is we can see on, I think it's the hourly time frame. I spotted it, yes. On the hourly time frame, we have strong bullish divergence i would say it's strong and we're completely oversold okay so here price action from this well actually the strong bullish divergence is right here okay so price action is making a lower low significantly lower low however in our stochastic rsi price action is not making a lower low okay we're pretty much steady from this place to this place and we're completely oversold so that's strong bullish divergence on the hourly time frame for bitcoin all right now let's look at our favorite altcoins we didn't get a chance to do that yesterday um so we're looking out for a break uh or breakout in bitcoin okay we're we've got a breakout uh watch going okay for bitcoin that means that one Altcoins should, some altcoins should have already broken out, okay? And two, some altcoins may very well break out very soon, okay? If this all holds. And lo and behold, even in our smallest of our favorite altcoins, we have a breakout, right? On the hourly time frame, we see that Ravain, one of our favorite altcoins, has broken out, okay? And this is a decent breakout, some decent volume here, okay? and a nice green candle. This green candle is a 10% candle. That, my friends, is a breakout. 10% in one hour. 
Okay. Let me just measure that again. Yeah, that's that's a 10% candle, okay? Just to give you an idea, it's a 10% candle to the upside, yet we're only up one uh, half a percent for the day. So it just had a bit, a bit of a tumble, okay? So yes, things are breaking out, my friends. We should look now to our uh, upper targets. So for that, I'm going to go on the daily time frame, okay? And... Again, for Ravain, you can prove it to yourself, but we did get a reversal pattern. A wave, initial break of structure. B wave, counter trend or counter uh, corrective wave to the A wave. And then uh, the C section, I call it. A wave, a B wave, a pivot into uh, a, 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 uh, an impulse. Okay, so... My next target is going to be at this upper resistance right here because we've been in a descending wedge and I have one, two important, or actually I have three touch points. So this is a strong, strong, um, this is a strong uh, trend, right? This, uh, this upper resistance is a strong trend. So I anticipate that price respect it. And if, let's get rid of this just temporarily. If um, price continues in this way today, I anticipate that we will reach resistance at or before 0 0.005, whoops, 0 0.00566, okay? But I'm going to take profit a little earlier, maybe at around 0 0.00545, okay? I anticipate some rejection and we find um, support somewhere down here probably before continuation up and out of this descending wedge. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing on Ravain. Once again, on the daily time frame, completely oversold. All right, so that is a good sign for continuation to the upside. We've been, pretty much been dumping nonstop ever since the end of March. So for a month straight, 30 days of pain, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, or 30. Yeah, I'm not gonna count all the way to 30. You guys can count. All right, so that's Ravain. Kadena, same deal. We have a reversal pattern. This reversal pattern, once again, it is not like the easiest thing to count, but with practice, with experience, it gets easier and more accurate, okay? The A wave is the easiest. The initial break of structure, it's typically unambiguous. It's three waves, usually makes a higher high from the previous trend. If it's a downtrend, lower low, if it's an uptrend, all right? The B wave, that's usually the trickiest, but it's the counter to the A wave. Again, the B wave only has to have a three waves at least, right? Or come in a, in a, a tight, the, the B wave only has to look it has to come in a variety of three waves. This is what I meant to say, because you can have five waves, but then it's a double three or triple three, right? It's always in three. So a three wave structure that retraces to a minimum of 0 0.5 of the A wave or a maximum of 1.618 of the A wave, okay? So those are the two things that it has to fulfill. Other than that, it can look like it wants to, okay? So this is the B wave I, I'm, I spy on Kadena, and then the three wave pivot, A wave, one, two, three, B wave, one, two, three. And so I think our impulse is next, all right? So I, my next target for Kadena is still 8.30, okay? I think this is still a realistic target, $8.30. And once again, we're completely oversold on the stochastic RSI, all right? So that's Kadena. Last but not least, we have Veracity, and Veracity has put in, com all right, completely oversold on the RSI, stochastic RSI, just like Kadena. So that's a really good sign. And on the daily time frame, you see this very bullish hammer candle, okay? So that is a very, very good sign for continuation to the upside. And again, you have your reversal pattern. A wave, initial break of structure, a B wave, which is counter to the A wave. It's comprised of three waves, and it has a minimum retracement of 0 0.5 of the A wave and a maximum retracement of 1.618.
okay? And then a pivot, A, one, two, three, B, one, two, three, and I think the next is the impulse, all right? So I think we're finally here. It's been tough. It's been a long road. It's taken some time, okay? But this is the key to good trading. It's not always glamorous. It requires patience and patience that not a lot of people have. But you know what helps with patience? Having a good plan and having some perspective. The perspective can be cultivated from having decent long-term analysis, okay? And that gives you a good plan and that helps you with the patience. doesn't make it super easy to be patient, but it helps, okay? So that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys got value from that analysis. If you did, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for daily Bitcoin updates, occasional altcoin updates, and weekly live streams every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you have a great day, a profitable day. Take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.